Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo, Ham Radio Diary. M0 FXB. We've got the uh, Martin Lynch code plug from their website. Thanks very much. We've loaded it onto our RT3S. Uh, we're going to add our my hotspot just for now. So I've gone to um, general settings and I've added my call sign and my DMR number. The good thing about the this uh, CPS is that it saves as you go, which most of the time is quite good. So we need to add a zone just for my hotspot. At the moment, here's all the zones here. You already probably know, but zones are the groups of channels. So for example, you could have a zone with 20 FM repeaters or 20 hotspots. <clears throat> you decide what the zones are called. You decide what goes in them. So I need to add a, another zone. So go to the section that says zone information and right click. Um, actually, you need to go at the top to do this. So hover over the yellow file, right click and click add. So double click where it says zone and give the zone a name. So we'll just put hotspots. We're going to add my jumbo spot and my open spot three. So just so it um, keeps that, I'm just going to add a channel in. Just so it saves it. So this is an RT3S dual band or a MD380UV, you know, same again, same radio really. So you've got A band here, B band here. It's up to you what you, what you decide to put in each one. So anyway, we'll just close that for now. We've now created a zone. Um, so now we need to just create a channel with the correct frequency of our two hotspots. So we're gonna we're looking for channels now. So see channel information. Double click that. <clears throat> Again at the top, just right click and put add, and then you'll, you it creates basically a blank channel at the bottom. Uh, it hasn't this time, so let's do it again. Right click, add. Hopefully there's a blank channel at the bottom. Um, why can't we see that? Unless the channels are are full up, we'll just have a quick look. Okay, so I I tried it again. You hover over where it says channel information, click right click, add, scroll to the bottom, and there's a couple of channels that I've added. So double click channel one, and that's going to be our jumbo spot. So we'll call it jumbo spot. Then we'll just put in the frequency, which um, on, a, on A and B will be the same if it's a, a simplex one, which most of us have. So mine's on 431550. Okay. Uh, frequencies in then we just choose that it's going to be digital um, well I'll do the power as medium so that's it jumbo spot and now we need to uh, choose color code I'm just going to do them all color code one repeater slot one for now uh, I think if you're doing a repeater um, then you would have different frequencies for receive and transmit and you repeaters tend to use color codes uh, two or three if I remember right so we've got our channel created um, we can choose from our contact list now I like talk group uh, 91 but for now we'll just do talk group 9 local because with talk group 9 you can actually change uh, channels um, using the radio so right so we've done that one there that looks like it's all done then we'll go to my open spot so the next channel down here on the left open spot 3 
three. My frequency is 433.900. That's that. You can copy and paste these channels, um, but I'm not changing many settings, so I'll leave it as it is. Um, so again, digital, same color codes, but and then we're going to do talk group uh, contact names, the important one. Talk group nine. I don't bother using group list. So right, that's our two hotspots. So that we put them into as um, the zone that's called. We're going to now put them into the zone that's called hotspot. So what we we'll do, we'll go to back up to the zone information, then all the way back down again. Let's get this right. That's our channels. Right here it is here. Sorry. So at the bottom of zones, we've got the zone I created called hotspot. So double click that. <coughs> Right, the one I put in, well, let's get rid of that. And let's put the channels in that I've just created. So they'll be at the bottom. So remember, we've got A and B, top and bottom half. So I'm just going to put them both on A and B. But you don't have to. You can actually arrange channels any way you like. So look, both hotspots are on A and B. I'll probably add talk group 91 because I use it so much. At the moment, they're both on talk group 9. So what I'll do, go back down to channel information. This time I'll actually, oh, well, we need to add a channel first. We'll add two channels. Do, do that twice. So we should see them both at the bottom. Yeah. Again, can't find them. <laughs> uh, so back up doesn't want me to add channels back up maybe I'm highlighting the wrong thing so add something's happening um, click add so in theory at the bottom we should have two channels right they're there channel one channel two that's the default name so I'm gonna copy copy and paste into both channels There you go. So I'll go into um, channel one. So I'm going to call this one Open Spot uh, 3 TG91. Okay. Uh, it's for the open spot. Everything else should be fine. So close that. Channel two. I'm going to have to. Uh, a channel two. So we're going to call it Jumbo TG ninety one. Okay. Uh, the frequency is different. Really, I should have pasted the other one, shouldn't I? There you go. Right, jumbo spot in there. We can close that. Actually, no, we need to put in the, we need to actually add, go back to each one. We don't want talk group 91, nine. we want talk group 91. Now, if it's not in here, we're going to have to add it. It's actually could be called worldwide. Now, you've got TG1 worldwide, but we want TG91 worldwide, so I don't think it's in here. So, I'll show you how to add a, a talk group, and you can add any talk group, you know, valid talk group. So, go back up and go to digital contacts. So, you, you can literally add any one, any station, any repeater, anything you like here. As long as it's a valid one, it will work. So, if we can't find it in this list... What we'll do, we'll click Add. Gives us a blank one. And the important part isn't actually the name, it's actually the call ID, the number. 
So if we put in and it comes up with an error, it means it's already in there. Yeah, it hasn't come up with an error. So, and it's actually called world wide 91. That's what it's actually called. So, okay. I highly recommend you put that one in. It's the busiest one by far and, it, and it's good. So uh, now we can go back to those two channels that we created. So open spot three, talk group 91. And now it'll be in this list under contact name. So it should be at the bottom, I'm guessing. There is it, worldwide. So that's fine. So that one's worldwide. Go to the other one. Um, select worldwide. So we've got talk group nine. Right, that's done. We need to get them in the zone, otherwise you won't find them when you're scrolling through your zones. To scroll through your zones, you normally hit the button um, on the left-hand side above the PTT, because it's, I think it's preset at that one, but you know you can change all the buttons. Um, so, we're going to go to our hotspot zone, hotspots, and we're going to add those two in. on A and B. Okay, they're in. So you'll now find them. So I'm just going to go to just basic the general settings a minute. <clears throat> um, just see, I do like the backlight to stay on longer. So always. Um, Trying to think if there's anything else I like. You can have an intro here if you want. I haven't worked out how to do a picture yet. I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, um, let's go to generals. Let's go to the basics. That's fine. It's got my version. General settings button. Quick look at the buttons. See the buttons here? I haven't worked out how to put this radio into just VFO mode yet, or even if you can, so I'm going to look at that in a bit. So let's just see what the buttons do. So yeah, you can see that the what they're set at here already. Zone plus, minus, one set for power select, side button. It'd be nice if one was called VFO mode. Um, then I'd solve that question. Uh, da, da, da. So I'm going to look in the manual for that anyway. Right, so you can see here that you, could, if you want, you can assign all the buttons anyway. Um, and there's more, even more settings here for the number keys. It looks like... You can use the number keys for quick access as well. So it's pretty good, isn't it? So, right. So we're going to... I'll just save that so I don't lose it. So, um, and I've already sort of created a file where that will save. Next step is to connect it to the radio and um, send it across. So I'm going to just make sure you've got your USB driver... Um, for that, I'll just see if I can show you where to find that. I've got so many things on this computer running. Uh, Retivis, yeah, go here. Look at this address here. Just put in blog Retivis, and then you'll find all the software here, programming software, firmware, USB. So, um, yeah, back in a second. Okay, so we've got the cable, USB cable in the radio. Let's just click send here. Write data to radio. See the radio will light up there. That will go in. And then what we'll do is we'll go to the open spot three one. So I think I've got that running and just show you that it's it's transmitting. 
So hopefully this gives you the sort of basics. You know, I mean, there's so much stuff in this co-plug. But if you, if you, if you, you know, got your favorite zone, you can actually go into menu then zones and just select it very quickly. Or you could just do a co-plug from scratch. So it's in there. Um, let's see if we can uh, get on the open spot. Uh, it's just I'm pretty sure I got that running. Uh, could be that one. Let's just see if we get it. Well, we'll just stop and then we'll get the open spot running. Okay, so straight away, we've got, um, talk group 91 on. For TFU, Mr. Gerard, well, I should feel uh, privileged, I guess, from your first contact. You're coming in loud and clear, my friend, and uh, everything sounds good on this end. G4 TFU, back to you. So, sorry about the glare. It's just such a bright radio. Thank you, PR, G4 TFU. Well, thanks very much for that. Uh, I'll, um... <laughs> so you can hear that it's gone straight into talk group 91 using the open spot 3 you can see the open spot 3 uh, dashboard there I highly recommend the open spot 3 although they are expensive the RT3S and then if you I'll just quickly show you that it's it's I know it's very glary the screen but we've got in there jumbo spot and open spot on talk group 9 and 91 and it's working fine. So hope this helps. Please remember to subscribe 73.